start cooking. Hi guys. So today we'll be doing some fried chicken. And I'm about to cut the whole chicken up into some pieces. Usually we can get between 10 to 12 pieces when we cut the chicken up. And I'll just show you how and get our chicken going. First of all, I like to cut the wings out. Try to find joints and we can cut our chicken itself. So that's one. That's the other wing. That's two. Then we can cut our legs. And our tight. So we can just try to find joints. separate the back from the breast of the chicken. is fairly big piece so what we can do is actually cut it in half as well and always remember when we are going to do meat we want to have a fairly sharp knife so there you go that's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of a bird. So we are back to season our chicken. It's been laying on salt in for about half an hour or so. Now we are going to wash our chicken off. Cut off any fatty pieces that we don't need and season it up. So I'll get back in a bit. So our chicken is now cleaned. All the fat pieces have been cut off and we're going to season it with some Bajan green seasoning. And one of the things that I want to show you is when we are doing the chicken wings, we don't cut the tip off. What we would usually do is just take the tip and put it to the back of the wing so that it doesn't flare out as though it's still flying. And what we're going to do now is add our seasoning. Just some, some huge amounts. And take our hands it in to the chicken. Make sure that all the meat gets some of the seasoning. That way it remains nice full of flavor until we get around to actually frying our chicken. Then we'll leave this to marinate 
for at least half an hour usually persons would probably leave it overnight depending on how much time we have half an hour is good so even if the wing comes apart we can just snap it back behind there we cover it over we wash our hands we put it back into the refrigerator to chill for a bit and we'll get back to frying our chicken so we're all about to do a breading for our chicken or dredge whichever you prefer to call it I had some that I had previously made and I'm going to add some more flour then I'm going to sprinkle some mustard powder add some granulated garlic and I'm going to add some onion powder oregano to our veg some cilantro yeah I think that the two of them together already made a little flavorful and some curry powder as well Of course, we have to add some breadcrumb. So we want to take a spoon and we want to mix everything up. Now, it's always good to be able to taste our dredging to see if it needs anything. So just a little pinch. Yes, not bad, but we can add just a tad more salt and stir it together. Mix it all in and we have our breading, our dredge, whichever you prefer to call it, for our chicken when we're ready to fry it. So our chicken is now ready to be fried and usually today people talk a lot about uh, air fryers, people talk a lot about deep fryers, but I'm taking you back into history today and we are going to use the good old cast iron buck pot to fry our chicken and we are going to allow it to get hot because it's heavy and cast iron. It will take a while to get hot. We're going to add our oil to it as well so that that too can get hot. Back in the day, the other folk would just put their hands over the back pot and feel for the heat. But what I like to do, or what my mum showed me to do, was let's take a little bit of our bread in we drop it in the oil, it's bubbling up. That tells us that our oil is nice and hot. So we can now take our chicken, drop it in the dredge, and then we'll put it into the buck pot to fry. We've tested and we've made sure that our oil is hot. Yes, you can hear the dredge sizzling. So now what we'll do is get a few pieces of our chicken. We'll Dip them in the dredge. Yeah, we're just going from chicken into our dredge. We just drop our chicken. Nicely into our pot. Can you hear that sizzle? That tells us that our oil temperature is ready up. So we'll have to monitor our chicken well. So we don't want to overcrowd the butt pot either. We want our chicken to be able to breathe as it were while it's being fried. When we 
they're frying or chicken, you want to fry all the big pieces together. Since they're so meaty, they'll cook evenly together. We've just done our first four pieces of our lovely looking fried chicken. Now we're going to dredge some other pieces and we're going to drop them into the oil as well. So this is our second set. Okay. We want to make sure that we coat our chicken nice and thorough. So we get that nice flavorful breading on our chicken and then we drop them into our hot pot. So here's our end product nice golden brown pieces of chicken yet it's soft and very succulent on the inside look a little closer look at this meat on the inside hot and juicy i'm going to have mine so until next time bye bye so i hope you enjoyed our cooking time together until our next video bye bye and don't forget to hit that subscribe button or drop a comment down below